So we mentioned at the top of the show, it's been 49 years. Holy smokes, since Jaws hit theaters, the 1975 movie had a significant impact on sharks in the real world. We also discussed world. this earlier. Holy smokes. So on one hand, it sparked a major interest in sharks, leading to a ton of new research. That's mm -hmm. great. But on the other hand, the fear that it instilled, oh, this led to mm -hmm. overfishings and killings. Uh, Discover Channel's annual Shark Week aims to correct the misconceptions and show a different side of the sharkies. Here, here. This summer, we've had fewer shark sightings than usual, but you know what? Just yesterday, parts of Rockaway Beach were close to swimmers after three shark sightings. See? Da -da. Thank you, NYPD. Da -da. Uh, if you want to get up close and personal with sharks, you can do that at Sea Life Aquarium at American Dream. Good for us. Yes. Joining us now is lead aquarist. Kathleen Webster, <laughs> welcome to New York Living. Hi. We're Thank laughing because we have pronounced aquarist, aquarist. Aquarist. What is it? What exactly is an aquarist? So an aquarist is basically someone who takes care of these animals, not only feeding them, but also taking care of the habitat that they are in, maintaining their water quality, making sure it's within parameters of what they are required to have. To survive. But, yes. Well, thank making you. sure, understanding their behavior, looking at their physical conditions. That's a big job. It is. Thank it you is for doing it. I think we were today years old when we found out that this sea life yeah. existed at American Dream, which is insane. We've been there for three years now. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, so, what do you guys have going on over there in honor of Shark Week, which is this week? And what can like what can some guests roll up and, and do an experience? So, <laughs> swim up. Our aquarium is one of the most unique aquariums that is in New Jersey. Really? As we pull in our location into all of our exhibits. So you can see animals that you find here in the Hudson, like striped bass, uh, to the Amazon River forest, like the red belly piranhas. And then our City Under the Sea exhibit is the most fascinating one. It does have our black tip reef sharks, uh, but it has iconic buildings and landscapes uh, that you have here in New York City and with a twist. <gasps> but to so, be clear, there, you, you will not find a shark anywhere near the Hudson River in real life. Uh, so there are shark nurseries that you can find along the coastline of New York and New Jersey. Um, <laughs> I will not, not that I was planning on going in the Hudson River. Say, but, when were you going to go <laughs> swim the Hudson? I'm like, thinking about those movies they make and it's going to come out and be like, Wah! Now you're saying that the habitat that you create for these sea creatures mimics the area. Mimics yes. the area. So for you, you have the flat iron building. Right. We have flat fish building. <laughs> here, Empire here. State <laughs> is Empire State for us. I, I had a feeling you were going to say that. And then we even have a Times Square section with fun fish wordplay all over the billboards. So instead of cats, it's sprats. Cute. Do you yes. have the naked cowboy fish? No, we do not. They're working on that in 2025. Thank you. <laughs> so what, what we do have a feeling naughty, though, oh. and a UTI. Well, 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 that's Times Square <laughs> circa 1976. Thank you. Um, so when guests go, what kind of sharks are they actually able to see? We, you can see black tip reef sharks, uh, brown banded bamboo sharks, epaulette sharks, that's one of our brown banded bamboos. That's a black tip. Oh, I we even the black have tip is very um, mean. No, no. They are curious. Oh. We actually have divers that get in two days a week with them. They are perfectly fine. They go to the opposite side of the exhibit really? and they swim around there. They might come back just to see what we're doing as we're cleaning their exhibit. Oh, they're nosy. But yeah, they are nosy. Who's this guy? What's happening here? That is a chain cat shark, also known as a dogfish. They live in a uh, water temperature of 50 to 52 degrees. Ooh, mm -hmm. they like it chilly. They do. And they live on the bottom. They just stay there. They just hang out there. And they pump water over their gills so that they can survive. They don't have to constantly be swimming like the black tip wow. reef sharks. That is living, working smarter, not harder. Yep. We were just talking earlier. Um, I thought for certain, what with my marine biology background, <laughs> that sharks do not sleep. They're always moving about. They can and shut down you, their, their you, brain to you, sleep. You, you prove me wrong. Sharks can, can in fact sleep. They, <laughs> they do can. sleep. They do. Really? Do they get a, a do they full close 45 their eyes? minutes a night? Like what happens? So, I mean, just they kind of go in circles and you can kind of see that they have a, a pattern. Oh my goodness. And this that, is that means their their brain is at rest. It can, yes. Chilling. I mean, most 
sharks are just swimming through the water. We're the ones that are entering into their their home. space. It's their world we're mm -hmm. just living That's in. That's right. Uh, we have some props. I need to acknowledge this one first because <sighs> I thought it was a thing of myth. <laughs> but this this is from a creature that actually at one point existed. It's now extinct. It's funny because it looks like a heart, but it's a megalodon tooth. Yes, megalodons. No. Those are real. Turn, turn her right side up. What is a megalodon? A megalodon is an extinct shark. It's very large. They have made movies from it. I was going to say there's books on it. Mm -hmm. Ima this imagine, is also a great white. The, that's your tooth. So you can see the size difference. So this is from a great white. This is oh, a white okay. shark. That's, that's so you can see the size, the teeth. The size difference, and we all know how big white sharks can get. Unbelievable. So you, you the only... megalodon would have been something to be reckoned with. Yes. And that it was, was not myth. It was a true thing. It megalodon. was. Megalodon. Mm -hmm. And the great white. On the program okay. today. And right. then these are all various other teeth that you can find. Fun fact about shark teeth is that they continuously lose them. So they can lose the front row of their teeth uh, within a week to a month. In a 10-year span, they can lose up to 30,000 teeth. So this the ocean like floor is just because they have some. With them. They have rows. Oh yeah, of they teeth. have the rows. They, do. they oh. have rows of teeth oh, that basically just. It, does every shark have the same number of teeth, or does it vary based on the? It breed? can vary. Okay, wow. This is a good scratcher. If it looks need, like a gua sha. You have any? Oh. You know what? I'll this is skin care tool. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. <laughs> That was in somebody's mouth. It was in a shark's mouth. I don't mind. What has this gone off the rails? Other fun things happening at Sea Life. Please tell. We have shark talks that are going on all this month that our educators is given throughout the day. You can see me and my team feeding our sharks. Uh, we also have behind the scenes tours that you mm -hmm. can get in depth yes. understanding of what me and my team do every single every day. Every single day. Well, you know, this sounds them. like st producer stuff. This sounds like a piece that we need to shoot. We need to go swim. We need to be aquarists for the day. Kathleen, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So much. Thank you. If you're interested in checking out Sea Life Aquarium, head over to visit sealife.com slash new dash Jersey. I like that. A great garden state with uh, right. everything you need for Shark everything Week. Everything you need. Do yourself a favor. Head on over. <laughs>